What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen Seven Twenty, and I am back with a, another video. And if you guys do me a big, big favor, if you could be so kind, you'd be so nice. Can you please? Uh, I'm gonna leave a link to my Twitch channel below. Could you please follow your boy on Twitch? I'm trying putting together something very, very special for you guys. That's gonna be exclusive to my Twitch channel. I promise you guys will love it. If you guys love the big game of small talk podcasts, you will love this. And I'm really proud of it. But first I gotta take care of the bills. I gotta get that, you know, bills gotta be paid, you know. I gotta get that channel part. I think I need a thousand uh followers. I'm almost there, but if you'd be so kind to follow your boy on Twitch, the link will be down below to my channel. Just hit the follow you know button. Appreciate it. Uh on to today's video. Remedy did an interview, I believe, with Polygon, and it was with Polygon, and they released some earlier footage, uh, prototype footage of Alan Wake 2, and they said that was scrapped and canceled, and um, I guess they went, this was in 2010 footage, and they went, to, I guess, to work right away on, or soon after, on to Quantum Break. Now, I did a, filled out a survey, um, I don't know if that's an anonymous, but it, uh, he said it there in, in, this, in itself, so I guess I could talk about it. But anyway, I felt that I felt in a certain what I would like to see, what I like to see Alan Wake remastered on the Xbox One. You know what I mean? Um, and I guess the interview asked if there was any way, any chance would that come to the PlayStation 4 or the Wii U? He said, not likely. No, Microsoft. Even though they do own the IP, Microsoft published the game. Uh, it's not coming to um, the PS4 or the. Uh, with you. Um, so anyway, uh, he talked about that, about them re-releasing that on the Xbox One with all the DLC. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think I want it. I would rather have, give me a week too. Um, I'm excited for that, you know what I mean? If I want to, you know, I'm just being honest because um, I have Alan Wake already on my Steam account. One of my Steam accounts and um, I, I doubt if the graphics is getting any better than what's in my rig. So, you know, I, I really don't need an Alan Wake with all the DLC on my Xbox One. If they throw it in as a free as a bonus to pre-order the game or something, fine. But I doubt it if, I, if it comes down to me purchasing it, I doubt it. But he came on the line of questions of Alan Wake 2. Um, and he's saying that, you know, if Microsoft doesn't pick it up or doesn't, you know, publish it, there are ways Kickstarter, and, and then that Alan Wake 2 may see the light of day on the PlayStation 4 or other devices. I doubt that very seriously. Um, I don't know why Microsoft doesn't come out and just acquire Remedy. They make great games. That would be a nice feather to put in your hat, you know what I mean? Not for nothing. It would be, but um, uh, I, I, I know right now, you know, the ponies are, yeah, Microsoft loses another exclusive. If anything, Sony has lost more exclusives than, to Microsoft than anything. What do you think? I I, I hate the like when I because a lot of these quote unquote. I'm not talking about PlayStation fans. The big difference between a PlayStation fan and a pony. You know, I mean, a lot of these ponies' first console was the PS3 you know, or the Wii or the 360. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. If you did, you know how many you know what like that. You know how many is a quote unquote exclusives that the PlayStation lost to. Well, then became multiplayer, became on the Xbox. Devil May Cry, Metal Gears, Grand Theft Autos. You understand what I'm saying? That's what made the PlayStation 2 so great because these multiplayer games we see now that we all love, no love, they were exclusive, you know, on the PS2, but they're now multiplats. But again, getting back to uh, Alan Wake 2, if the game looks amazing, we know Microsoft is not gonna let it, you know that slip through their fingers, you know. Um, so I doubt very, very seriously if we see Alan Wake to come to uh, the PlayStation 4 or any other device uh, besides PC, you know. So come on PC, of course. Um, but again, Microsoft is not in competition with Windows, you know. They're not. Think about it. When people, I just want to say this. Your gaming rig. What's inside? What? What? You understand? What's inside your? What's the OS in your gaming rig? You understand what I'm saying? Windows. So Microsoft doesn't care, honestly, if games were made to run on Windows. They don't. 
They're not in competition with Dell, Hewlett Packard, who else? Labino, Labeno, whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? Samsung, Sony doesn't make them. They're not in competition with them. Their competition is Nintendo and Sony as far as console goes. That's it. You know, they don't care about Rise coming to PC or, you know what I mean, when it makes these third party games. So they don't care, you know, but it is what it is. But um, anyway, I will leave a link to the Alan Wake gameplay down below also. If you haven't seen it, go by and check it out. Interesting. Like I said, I would love to see it, you know, so. But anyway, this is your boy, NextGen720, and as I always say,